such an important health watch today, a spoonful of medicine. A new study reports that patients who use household spoons, which most of us do to dole out medicine, never seem to get it right, and that can cause some big problems. Here now is our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. We all do it. I need a teaspoon. I need a tablespoon. That's Why right. is that wrong? Very important. The key principle here is that any type of medication is usually dosed based on the amount you're taking and how often you're taking it, so dose and frequency. And when you're talking about amount here, most people, when they follow the instructions, it says one teaspoon. This is, you know, an average mm -hmm. teaspoon that might be in your house. And what you can see here is the amount of medication that actually pours out in a, in a serrated cup is actually closer to one and a half teaspoons. So this is potentially, again, we have to underscore potentially, a big difference in dose, either too much or in some cases too little. In this case, it's only a half a teaspoon more, so you think no big deal, is it? Well, one teaspoon medically is the equivalent of five milliliters, or in the hospital we say five cc's, and this study actually actually showed that it, the amount can vary. It can be as little as 8% less than the amount of dose or 11% more. Look at that. So again, toxicity and therapeutic effect depend on getting the right amount. So if you don't have this little cup, you lost it, what do you use instead? You can get any of these dose syringes that come in any uh, drugstore and you will be good to go. Jennifer Ashton, thank you so much you as bet, always. Man.